in this video I will start with capturing the packet and then we will analyze the SNMP protocol so first thing what I will do I will click on the capture I will say interface on interface I can see on PPP0 packets are coming and going so I will select this interface and say start okay so uh, Wireshark is started and it start cap capturing the packet as well okay so for this uh, demo I am using SNMP net SNMP tools you can uh, use uh, any of your SNMP APIs like a web NMS or uh, any stack SNMP 4J so that will not prevent you because the protocol is same okay so what I will do I will say SNMP so I, I will try I'm trying to walk over a MIP tree so I'll say SNMP bulk walk I'll use version 2c the community string is demo public and this is the So moment I press SNMP bulk walk, it got some OIDs with the data type and with the value. Okay, OID data type, OID data type and the value. Okay, so let's go to the Wireshark and see what happened. Okay so Wireshark you can see a lot of things are happening so you'll, you have to start filtering out so click on filter and type SNMP okay so you can see like uh, I have given a SNMP bulk walk so a request get bulk request has come so first thing I'll do I'll try to analyze so I'll click analyze decode as SNMP to make sure everything is decoding okay so moment I press decode it uh, the Wireshark is able, capable of decoding the SNMP protocol okay so I send a one bulk request so when I click to SNMP management protocol I can see the version I use version 2c the community I use is demo public okay version 2c demo public and I have sent one where bind with this OID okay this is the OID of get bulk request 1.3.6.1.2.1 So it has request ID associated with it 1317813840. So when I see the next packet, I have got a get response. So when I see the request ID, it is 1317813840. So this is same of get bulk request. Okay. So it it has go, it got the response of 10 items so these are the response I got okay the OID and the value the object name this type of octet string OID value object name and value OID okay so like this we can associate based on the request number request ID number who sent the request or for what OID okay we can see get bulk request again we have get bulk request 
with the request ID is 13178 okay and in this request I have one where bind so I have two response one response and this response let's see last response so 13178 so what is the get request so this is 41 so this is 42 so this is the response of this request okay so if you don't know the filter string and if you know the port also first I will clear it okay let's say you don't know the how to filter it but you know the port then also you can use UDP dot port is equal to 161 okay so like this you can uh, decode the SNMP protocol using Wireshark so next we will see uh, SNMP get protocol uh, let's say SNMP get okay I am using performing a SNMP get on version V to see and using the same community string demo public and I am using loading this MIP and trying to get the sysup time dot zero ID okay so moment I press uh, event a packet has been captured over the so I can see get request has been performed okay like this earlier we have get bulk request now I have get request okay so get bulk request has come when I when I perform SNMP walk bulk walk so get request has been performed and uh, on this request the version I use come v2c the community I use demo public okay and I have one where bind associated with it with the object name and the response I got with the same request ID the OID and its value okay so using 17304 you can see the time tick 17304-8695 so using this approach you can decode any SNMP protocol and any uh, available request like SNMP get, SNMP bulk walk, SNMP inform, SNMP set and other SNMP whatever uh, is applicable over network. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any question do let me know. I will try to answer over the comment.